Hi everyone, this is Paul from bringweb.com and I'm back with another Elementor Dynamic Field tutorial. This time we're gonna take a look at Toolset, which is a really cool plugin that helps us with creating custom post types, custom fields, custom taxonomies and a bunch of other really nice features. So let's first start by showing you what we're gonna create during this tutorial. This is a movie blog website with a nice full width hero section here at the top with a search widget inside of it. A lot of you asked in the comments of the last video how to create a custom search and custom filters for your custom post types. And actually Toolset has this functionality inside of their Toolset Views plugin. Sadly for this tutorial I won't be showing how to create that because it gets a bit technical and would make the video too long. Maybe we'll have a separate video in the future explaining how to do it. However, if you need that functionality now and you decide to go ahead with Toolset, you can take a look at the documentation on their website for Toolset Views on how to create them. They do a great job explaining it. That being said, let's scroll down the page where we can see a list of movies that come dynamically from the backend. And if I were to click on one of them, like for example this one, The Fighter, we can see the single page template for that movie load up. Here at the top we have the title followed by the trailer and on the right side we have a nice social sharing widget. Under the trailer we have the plot of the movie as well as the IMDB rating, followed by a code about the movie and then some content here at the bottom. And lastly we have the image of the movie and some general information like the genre, director, writers and a few more. On the right side we can see our latest movies and if I were to click on one of them, for example Captain America, we have the exact same design. So all we have to do if we want to add a new movie is just fill in the information on the back end and the movie is going to follow the exact same template. That being said, let's jump into WordPress and create that. Ok, so we're now inside of WordPress and I already went ahead and set up some things so we don't waste any time with them. I've already created a header and a footer, we can see them here on the front page. And the page is empty right now, it's only the header and the footer with no content here yet. I've also went ahead and installed the required plugins, let me quickly jump back into the dashboard and go under plugins, install plugins. We will be using three plugins, Elementor, Elementor Pro and Toolset types. That's all we need right now, so let's jump into building a custom post type. You can see on the left sidebar under Elementor that we have a new entry called Toolset. I will hover over that and click on post types. On this page we can see the pre-built post types of WordPress, but we don't need to worry about them, so I'm going to click on add new. And we're now inside of the add new post type page. Here we need to provide a bit of information to create our post type. The first thing being the plural name of this post type, so I'm going to call that movies. Then we need to provide a singular name, which is going to be movie. And then I'll press tab to go to the slug so it automatically completes it with the lowercase version of the singular name. That's perfect for now. I also want to change the icon, so I will click on change icon here. And I will search for tickets. And I will choose this one, tickets out. Perfect. Now we don't need to worry about the labels or about the taxonomies right now. All I want to do is come here to the sections to display when editing movie and I want to check on the featured image because we want to be able to provide an image for our custom post type. I also don't have to worry about the options so I will go here at the top and for the admin menu position after I will choose comments because I want this custom post type to be displayed after the comments here in the sidebar and I will click on save post type. And we now have a new entry called movies here under comments so I will hover over that and click on all items. And you can see this is empty right now, so we can go ahead and create our custom fields. I will hover over Toolset again, and this time click on Custom Fields. Here we can create our new field group, so I'll click on the Add New Group button, and I'll give a name to this group, I will call it Movie Fields. Perfect. And now I will click Save Field Group, because I want to be able to specify where this appears on. So I will now click back on settings to expand this and here it's by default this group of fields will appear when editing all content. We don't want that so I'll click here on edit and I will check here our newly created custom post type movies and then I will click on apply. Perfect. So now this movie fields group will only show up on our custom post type. So we can now go ahead and create our first field. I will click on the add field button. The first field that we're going to create is the trailer link field, so I will choose the URL type of field. If you look into the top right corner of the screen right now, you will be able to see how this field is going to look like on the front end. We will link this field together with a video widget to dynamically display the movie's trailer into the template. That being said, I will name this field trailer link and hit tab to automatically fill in the slug. 
Just like this, you can see the slug was filled in automatically by pressing tab. We don't need to worry about any other settings, so I will close this up and create our second field. I will click again on the add new field button. And the second field is for the plot of the movie, which is a small paragraph, so I will choose the multi-line type of field here. Once again, in the top right corner of the screen, you can see the result on the front end. This field will be displayed under our trailer describing the action of the movie. I will therefore name this field plot and once again press tab to automatically fill in the slot. We don't need to worry about any of the settings either, so I will close this up and create our third field. The third field that we will create is the IMDB rating field, so I need to select a number type of field. This is going to be displayed under the trailer on the same line as the plot, showing our visitors what rating this movie has on IMDB. We will hook this up with an icon box field, allowing us to have a nice visual way to describe what type of rating this is. So I will name this field Rating. That being said, I'll quickly create the other fields on Fast Forward so we don't waste a ton of time with them. Okay, so now we've created all the custom fields that we need. In case you're wondering, this one with a little A in front is a single line custom field. That being said, I can now go ahead and click on Save Field Group. Perfect, and we can see that the post field group was saved. I only want to do one more thing before proceeding with filling in the information our custom post type, and that's creating a custom taxonomy. So here on Toolset I will choose Taxonomies, and now on this page we can see the built-in WordPress taxonomies. We don't need to worry about them, so I'll click here on Add New. And now we're on a screen pretty similar to the one that we've used to create our post type. So I will now name our custom taxonomy, I will call it Movie Genres. For the singular I will do Movie Genre. And for the slug the default works. And I also want here to change the taxonomy type from hierarchical like categories to flat like tags. You will see why when we start using them. And also I want to associate movies with this taxonomy so it only works with this one. And I will click on save taxonomy. Now if I hover over movies here you can see we have our movie genres taxonomy and if I were to click on it it's a very similar screen like the one used to create categories and tags. We've now completed our custom post type setup so we can go ahead and fill in the information. We'll start off by creating our movie genres. Those are going to be very helpful later on because it will allow us to filter movies based on genre. So I'll start with the first one which is going to be action. I will type here under name action and then I will just click on add new movie genre because the slug is going to be taken care of automatically by WordPress. Now I have a few more to add, so I will add them on fast forward. So you can see that we now have here a whole host of movie genres that will allow us to filter movies based on them. That being said, I will now go ahead and create our first movie, so I'll go under add new here. So we are now inside of the add new movie screen, and as you can see, in addition to the title and content inputs that come with the default WordPress post, we have all the other fields that we've created earlier like the trailer link, plot, rating and all the others. So I'll start by filling in the title which is going to be the fighter and 2010. Then I'll copy paste some of the content. So we'll start with the actual content of the page which is in this case Lauren Ipsum. Then I'll paste in the trailer link, the plot. I will provide a rating which is 7.8 on IMDb, then I'll provide a quote about the movie, the country is USA, director, writers, stars, what awards this movie won, and the duration which is 1 hour 56 minutes, perfect. So we fill in the information here, and what we want to do is come up here and fill in the movie genres, and because we've set them as tags, we need to search for them, so I know this one is a biography. So we search for biography and then click on it and click on add. And you can see we have it here now. And this one is also drama and sport. So we have our genres here. The last thing that we need to do is set a featured image. So I'll click here on set featured image. And I will choose the movie poster, which is this one, and click as set featured image. Perfect, so now our movie is done and I can click on publish. And if I go here to all items, 
we have our entry the fighter here so I can start creating a few more and I'll be back in just a second. Alright, so I've added a few more movies so we have what to work with. Now we can go ahead and create our first template which is going to be the archive so we can display our movies in the nice grid that I showed you at the beginning. So I will now hover over Elementor, my templates, and you can see here we have the header and the footer that I've created earlier. Now we can go ahead and click on add new. And here it asks us what type of template do we want to work on. So I'm going to click on this and select an archive and I will name this movie archive so it's easier to find and I will click on create template. Once inside of Elementor you can see that the library panel for the blocks was automatically open but I don't want to use it so I will close it up. So there are two things that I want to do before creating the template. The first one is setting the right preview for our archive so I'll click here on the little eyeball icon and I will click on settings and you can see that right now it says preview dynamic content as recent posts. We don't want that so I will click on this and choose movie archive and click apply and preview. Perfect. Now the second thing that I want to do is set some colors in our color picker so it's easier to choose them. So I'll click here on the hamburger icon and I will choose color picker and I want to change this green here with a yellow color that I need which is FAD168. This one. And I also want to change this green here to 003C54 which is a nice blue color. Perfect. And I will click on apply. Now we can go ahead and start creating our first section. So I'll click on the plus sign here and choose a one column section. Go into the section settings. I want this to be boxed and to have a 600 pixel width. I also want to set a minimum height for it. And that's going to be 700 pixels. All right here, 700. Great. Now I will go to the style tab and choose background type as classic and choose our image which is this nice full width image. I'll click on insert media. I will also change the position to center center and the size to cover so it shows a bit more out of it. Perfect. And I also want to set an overlay for the image to darken it a little bit. So I'll click on background overlay. I will do classic. And for the color, I'm going to do black at around 50% around here. And I will leave the opacity here at 50% as well. So this is now our first section and inside of it I want to add a search widget. Okay, so I'm gonna search for it and it's this one search form. The skin is going to be classic placeholder search. The button type is going to be icon and we will leave this magnifying glass here. For the size I'm gonna increase it a little bit and make it 60. Now under style we want the text color to be B A B A B A. It's a nice gray color. The background color white and the border color this darker gray which is 7A 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 and the border size has to be 1 pixels. Perfect. Now for the button the text color is going to be again that 7A 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 and the background color the yellow color we set earlier and this is our search. Now I can go ahead and add the second section. So I'll click again on the plus sign, choose a one column section. To this section, we will leave everything here by default. I will just go under style and make sure the background color is white. And under advanced for the padding, I will unlink the values because I just want to add padding to the top and to the bottom. And I will go to the percentage and I will do top 3% and bottom 3%. Great. Now we can add our title for this. So I'll search for a heading widget and drag it inside. It will say movies. Uh, the HTML tag is going to be an H2 and the color is going to be that blue color, the dark blue. And for typography, the defaults are fine. I just want the size to be 35 pixels. I only have one more widget to add, which is this one, the archive posts, and this returns all the posts in this current archive. So I will drag it in and you can see we have our movies here, but they look a bit odd right now. So we're going to work a bit with them. The first thing that I'm going to do is come here and we will turn off the excerpt as well as the read more and I will get rid of the date and comments. We just want to show the image and the title of the movie. Now, I want to change this from three columns to four columns. The image ratio is going to be 1.5. 
and the width is going to be 100%. I will change here the image size to large because we want them to be nice and crisp. Look how good they look right now. Perfect. Now I will go under style and for the columns gap, I'm going to do 55. Rows gap is going to be 40. Now under image, the spacing, I will make it 16. So we bring the title a little bit closer. And now in the content, what I have to do is make the title color that dark blue that we had. And also come back here to the layout and choose the alignment as center. So our title is centered with our images. And this is pretty much done right now. So I can click on publish and we have the display condition screen. I will click on add condition. And by default, it wants to include this template on all archives, but we don't want that. We just want to use it for our movies. So I'll click here and choose movies archive here. And then I will click on publish. Now the document is live, so I can click on the hamburger icon and go exit to dashboard. I will go to visit the website. And if I click here on movies, you can see our template is live with all the movies coming from the backend. Right now, if I were to click on one of those, this is what's going to load up because this is the default theme template. So we're going to go and create a single template to display our movie with all the information that we set up in the custom fields. Now I will go back to the dashboard and I will hover again under Elementor, my templates. I will click on add new. And this time we're going to select a single instead of an archive. And now it asks us what type of uh, post we want to use. So I'll click here and I will choose movie and I will name this movie single and I will click on create template. Okay, so we're now inside of the single builder and once again, the library was automatically opened up for us, but we don't need that. So I'm going to close it up and I'll add here a new section. I will click on the plus sign and choose a one column section. I want this one to be boxed in with 1280 width. I also want to set a minimum height here to 680 pixels and make sure that the column position is in middle. Perfect. Now I will go under style and for the background type, I will choose gradient. The first color is going to be 051721 and the second color is going to be the same one, just a bit more transparent here. It's a very subtle gradient that we use here. Location 0, 100, type linear and angle 180. Perfect. Now I will go to the shape divider and for the bottom, I will choose the tilt one like this. Okay. So that's all that we need for this section because the second section that we're going to create, we are going to pull it up using negative margin to have it here on top of this one. So I will create a new section. This one is going to be a two column section again, boxed with 1280 width. The first column I'm going to select and the column width is going to be 86 percent and the second one is going to be 14 but uh, it was done automatically now i want to go under the section settings under advanced and for margin i will do a margin top of minus 600 pixels and a margin bottom of 50 pixels right now it looks very odd but it's gonna look perfect in a few seconds so i'll start by adding a new widget it's going to be a post title widget i will add it here and you can see it takes the title that we've uh, set in the backend, which is the fighter. Now I'll go under style, the text color, I'll make it white. And for typography, we want the font to be Tahoma, 40 pixels, line height 1.3. And we also want to go under advanced for this and add a padding bottom of 25 pixels. Nice. Now the next thing that we're going to do is add a video widget, this one and add it under this. For the source, we're going to leave YouTube and here in the URL, we'll click on this little dynamic link, scroll all the way down and we can see we have toolset here and we have toolset field, toolset date field and toolset URL field. So I will click on the toolset URL field. And then if I click here again, it's going to ask for the key. And our key is the only one that we have because it's, we have only one toolset URL field and that's the trailer link. So I'm going to click on that 
and you can see our link is now displayed here and it looks really nice okay under this i'm going to add a columns widget which is this one here and i want to go under advanced and do a 50 pixels margin top to make a bit more space and also for the columns i want the first one to be 70 percent and the second one 30 percent so i'll do 70 here and the second one is automatically 30 percent now in the first column i want to add a new heading and this time i'm gonna click on the dynamic link and scroll all the way down and choose tool set field from here and now i will click again on it to choose our key and for the key we want to show the plot here and you can see we have the plot it looks really odd right now but we're gonna fix it in a second so i will now go under style for the color i'm gonna input 54595f which is a dark gray color then for the typography i will leave the family to default size 17 pixels weight 300 i want to have under style here italic perfect line height 1.6 and letter spacing 0.5 and now it looks really nice on the right side i will add an icon box widget we want the icon to be imdb icon which is this one the view is going to be default it will have no description and for the title i will click here on the dynamic link go all the way down to toolset field and i will choose our rating field good now i want to make this to go to the right side like this and play a bit with the styling of it so i'll go under style and for the primary color i will do our dark blue color spacing is going to be 19 the size is going to be 55 and for the title here on the content title i will go with the same color and on the typography i will do a line height of 1.8 and now it's pretty much centered with the icon now i want to add a shares button widget so i'm going to search for it and add it inside of the page we only want facebook google plus and twitter so i will delete the linkedin one and i want to change some settings here so the view is going to be only the icon the skin is okay to be gradient shape is going to be a circle columns one like this now under style column gap and row gap is okay to be 10 so i will go under advanced and i will do a 100 pixel margin top here now i will go under the column settings here and under advanced i will do a margin left of 100 pixels so our icons are nice and small here okay we can continue on with the next section i'll click on the plus sign to add a new section and i will choose a single column section Again, I'll make the content width 1280 pixels and inside of this, I will drag a divider widget. Now I'll choose the style to be dotted, one pixel weight, color black with 100% and a gap of 15. Perfect. Now I will move on with the next section, so I'll click again on the plus sign and this time I'll choose a two column section. Again, I'll make it 1280 in width. I will go under advanced and do a padding top of 45 pixels. And I will also change the first column to be 70% wide. So we have 70% and 30% on the second one. Great. Now in the left one, I will add a heading field. And I will click on the dynamic link here choose tool set field and then for the key i will choose the code nice now i want to style it a little bit so i'll go under style for the text color i will choose the dark blue color and for typography we want the font to be lato 56 pixels a weight of 900 1.2 line height and I will go under advanced and for margin, I will do a 30 pixels bottom margin. Nice. Now under this, I will drag a new widget, which is the post content, which is this one from here. 
and you can see it brings back the content that we've added when we've created this uh, movie. So we don't need to worry about any of the settings, this, the defaults look perfectly fine. Alright, so under the content I want to once again add a columns widget, which is this one here. But before continuing I just want to make a short point about them. If you're using Elementor version 2.2 or later, this widget was renamed from columns to inner section. So if you're using that version or later, make sure that you're looking for inner section instead of this one. Now I will drag that in. And the first thing that I want to do is select the first column here and choose a column width of 25%, leaving the second column at 75%. And I will choose here the column gap to be no gap. Then I will move over to the advanced tab and here I will do a 40 pixel margin top and bottom. So I'll write here 40. And also I want to do a 4% padding all around. So here I will change it to percent and then do four. So we have a 4% padding all around our section. Next, I will move over to the style tab and I will choose a classic background type and I will input a color, which is EF, 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 which is this light gray color here. And also I will go here down to the border, choose a border type of solid. I'll link the values because we only want to add the border to the bottom of this section. And for the bottom, I will do two pixels. And then I'll change the color of this to our dark blue color. Now I want to add to the left column a featured image widget. So I'll go over to the widgets panel and I will drag in the featured image widget here. Very nice. Now to the right column, I want to add a heading widget and I want to change the styling a little bit. So I will go under style here. I'll make the text color our dark blue color. And for typography, I will choose the font Lato. I will make it 19 pixels. I will choose a weight of 700 and I will do a line height of 1.4. Very good. Now I want to select this column again, the right one and change the content position from default to middle and also go under the advanced tab and set a 30 pixels padding to the left like this. Now I need six more copies of this heading widget because I need seven in total. So what I can do is either right click here and choose duplicate to duplicate this widget or I can just press Control or command D to duplicate. And now we have seven copies of this so we can start working with them. I will select the first one and here you can see our little dynamic link. So I will click on this, scroll all the way down and choose tool set field. Now nothing shows up because we haven't chosen our key yet. So I will click on the tool set field here and for our key, we will choose country because that's the first thing that we want to display. Also, I will go here under advanced and in the before input, I will type country and column and a space. So now we have a label for our input here. Now I will skip the second one because that's a bit different. I will create the third one here. So I will click on this. Click again on the dynamic link, scroll all the way down and choose toolset field and I will choose the key of director and you can see our director shows up so I can go under advanced and for the before tag I will do director and column and a space. Now I will do the last four on fast forward and then we will return to the second one. Perfect. So now we have all of our fields in place except for the second one. So I will click on that and I will once again choose the dynamic link. But this time, instead of choosing the toolset field, I will actually choose this one here, post terms, because this will return our terms for a post. And right now it's empty because we haven't chosen our taxonomy of choice. So I will click here on post terms and then for the uh, taxonomy, I will choose movie genres. And now we can see our genres for this movie displayed here. I will also change here the separator to space pipe space. So it looks like this now and under advanced in the before input, I will write genre. Okay. So our little section is done so we can continue on with creating our sidebar. First thing that I want to do is scroll up and choose our big column here. The left one, click on advanced and I will choose a padding right of 40 pixels. I will also choose the right column here and go under advanced as well. 
and this time I will add a 90 pixels padding to the left. Now I can go ahead and drag in a heading widget. I will write in here latest movies. Then I will go to the style tab. I will choose our dark blue color for the text color. Then I'll go under typography. For the font family, I will choose Tahoma. I will also make this 40 pixels in size. And then I will go under advanced and add a 10 pixel padding to the bottom. Now I can drag in one more widget, which is the post widget. So I will search for it. And is this one post, so I'll drag it inside of this column. But you see that by default it tries to return from our default WordPress post, but we don't want that. So here on the left side, I will scroll all the way down and choose query. For the source, I will change this to movies. I will leave here order by descending and I will exclude the current post by clicking here and checking on avoid duplicates because we don't want any duplicate movies here. Then I can return to the layout tab and style this a little bit. So the skin is going to stay on classic. For the columns, we want to show only one. We want to show three posts per page, not six. The image position can stay to the top. We want to change the image size to medium large so it's nice and crisp. Also, the image ratio should be 1.52. Then we will leave the title on. We will disable the excerpt as well as the date and comments here. And we will also disable our read more button. So we will only show the image and the title. Now I will go to the style tab, go to content here. And for the title color, I will choose again our dark blue color. And here in the layout, I will make sure that the column gap is 30 and the row gap is 30 as well. Perfect. Now, there's one more thing that I want to do. I just want to add uh, some comments to this page. So I will search for the Facebook comments widget. And I will just drag it in here. And move it under this section. So now we have our comments. The defaults are fine with the comment count of 10 and order by social. So now our template is complete. We have the posts here inside of the sidebar. We have the trailer and the title at the top, as well as all the other fields that we've set up inside of the toolset plugin. The only thing that's left to do is to publish this template. So I will expand this and I will click here on publish. You can now see the display condition screen came up. And because when we've created this template, we've already chose our movie custom post type. The conditions are automatically set to include all movies all. So all I have to do is now click on publish. And then we can exit to the dashboard. I will go ahead and visit the website. I will click on movies. And we can now see the list of movies that we've set up before. So I'll click on one of the movies, for example, Captain America. And you can see we have our template live in here. So I'll choose a different movie from the sidebar now, like this one. And you can see it follows the exact same template. So this was my movie blog tutorial using Toolset and Elementor's Theme Builder. I really hope you found it useful and learned something new out of it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.